right, so I'm going to show you guys how to install LED footwell lighting in your car. And I have a 2002 Acura RSX base model here. And um, it doesn't really matter which LEDs. I'm not going to bore you with talking about the exact LEDs I have. But um, the first thing you want to do is see the outside under the hood fuse box right here. And if you look at it here, the one you want to pull out is that one right there. It says 7.5 amp interior lighting, and it's that one right there. So it's just a good idea to pull the uh, fuse so that there's, you know, you don't have to worry about shorting anything or anything bad happening. So grab the little tweezers out. And so if you don't do this or whatever the if you happen to touch the two wires down there for the dome lights together the fuse will pop and then you'll just have to replace that so it's just a good idea to unhook everything basically just pull it out like that and just set that down and once that's done then I'll down show. here the first thing you want to do is there's this little cover here So like under here, you have this plastic cover and you just you just turn that little knob sideways there. And then there's a little clip like right there and right there. And it just pulls right out. And you just pull that down. And that's pretty simple. Which wires you're going to want to tap into. I am, I'm going to be tapping into the dome light up there so that the lights will correspond with them or whatever and they should fade in and out with it and when the doors are open basically they'll turn on when you shut the doors they'll fade out and whatnot and i have on here the diagram for the interior lighting for my car and you can see right there for the ceiling light it's the green and red and blue and white and blue is going to be the the red one for the plus side i'll go ahead and show you those So over here, focus. Come on. Um, so under here, you can see there's a lot of wires up here, and there's kind of a lot of there's a lot of the same color ones too. So it's kind of hard to figure out. But if you look over here, um, so right over here, it's this. This is where they come down, and you can kind of tell that it follows, like, you can tell where it goes up through, like, the this part of the frame or whatever, and you can kind of imagine how it would, it would go to the uh, dome light, so. Basically, right here, and they're kind of a little bit gnarled up for me testing them, but, um, let's see, I'll show you. It's, that's the green and red one, and that's the white blue one, and it's the plus side or whatever, so. That's the ones you're going to tap into to get to the dome lights. And that's where I'm going to connect them first. I'm going to shave a little bit off and then put my lights on them and just make sure before I uh, actually solder them in there or whatever. So, um, yeah, I'll show you how that works out. Okay, so I wired them up here, and here they are. They work. Um, the only thing, I was a little bit disappointed that they don't, you can't really control them with the switch up here. Um, all that they're doing is they turn on when you open the door, you know, with this thing here, and then they fade out after like 20 seconds. So I can turn this switch off here. Let's see, turn that off, and they'll still be on. Um, so I guess that's fine. Um, I can show you if I turn this in the middle. And shut the door. It takes about 20 seconds, but um, they will fade out, which is still a pretty cool effect. It would be nice if you can control them with that switch and turn them on and off with the dome light, but they'll just work with the doors now and fade out. See, 
So that's pretty cool still. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the fuse out again since I'm working down there. And then I'm going to wire them up a little bit better. And then I'll show you how how I throw them, how I connect them through the other side. Because I'm going to be putting them on both sides. Okay, now the first piece I cut is right here. This is my first LED strip. And about a piece of wire like that long. And what I'm, where I'm going to put the one on the driver's side is um, this would be toward the front of the car. So basically this strip here is going to go like on there or whatever. So I'm just going to put it on there. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So that's going to be the first piece. And then here's my piece for the other side. It's a little bit longer. There's kind of a nicer place to put it on the passenger side. Um, so I'm going to cut another piece here that's going to be about a foot and a half. And then that will stick through like the center console part. And... It, what I did is it's pretty dark in here, and then you just, I threw the light on the other side, and you can see all sorts of little holes, and then you just find a nice place to throw, throw that wire through or whatever. Um, I have, my LED lights came with these cool little connectors here, so I guess you just should be able to just stick one side in there, and then the other side, like one side goes in there like that, and then you shut it, and then the others. You can just kind of put in there and then shut it or whatever. So that's right. how that's going. Um, I'm now done with the project. I just got finished putting them fully in and getting them secure. So I'll show you what they look like in the position that they're in. And then I'll show you what them what they look like with them on. So right there's the cover. And there's the string right there. It just kind of goes along the whole bottom of the... That little black plastic cover there. And then over here. And then right there, that's where they go through. It's kind of hard to tell actually where the light, where the actual LED strip is in my, my own wire because they're both kind of white in the same. But anyway, that's just the wire there and that goes through there. So that's the one side and then the other side. Come through right there, and it, it's all along the bottom of the glove box where where they sit, just like that. So when you open it, they just kind of fall down, but you just kind of hide, hid the wire behind that right there. And so, yep, that's what they look like. Now I'll turn them on for you. Okay, so I turned the lights off in the garage, and I'm going to show you what they look like now. So I'm going to open the door, and you see they come on right away. Shut the door. They kind of dim a little bit. The only thing is this, the uh, dome light right there is kind of yellow and not very bright, because... I guess it draws a lot of power and I don't know just I guess just deal with it I'm not sure what else to do but um, so it'll they'll stay on for like 20 seconds and then you'll see they'll just kind of dim out um, so there we go yep so that's what they look like it's pretty it's a pretty cool effect it just dims right with the dome light so it, yeah it looks really nice and then they open, turn back on when you open the door. So, um, so that's yep, pretty that's much it. it. Just put your fuse back in, and you should be good to go.